I was very active in talking about the effects of global warming on biological diversity uh, from the time it first appeared, but when people began making real estimates, the situation got really dire. Think about the way that horticultural zones have shifted in the mid-US. Here in St. Louis, for example, you can grow camellias now outside. Your crepe myrtles don't die down to the bottom anymore. Your evergreen magnolias live up to their name and hold their leaves all winter. Whereas when I came here 40 years ago, the situation was very different. And horticultural zones have shifted all across the United States. And so have natural zones. And as you go up mountains, the situation gets even more intense. With a two degree warming, which is what people are trying to hold, all of the areas in the United States that aren't too steep for plants will fall down below timberline. There'll be no areas above timberline. There'll be no beautiful tundra in the Rocky Mountains and the conies, which are such a characteristic animal up there whistling away at their visitors, will have to come down below timberline into rock slides. And those species that can't make it will go extinct. The worst position in the world, of course, is at the southern ends of the southern continents, where, an, where a mountain like Table Mountain near Cape Town will change its climate completely, and then there's no place to go. In the north, we imagine plants and animals migrating northward as it gets warmer and warmer and as the rainfall patterns change. But in the southern hemisphere, where you have the ends of continent sticking into the vast southern ocean, that just isn't possible. People have aimed for a two degree Celsius threshold because they believe that if we can hold the increase in global temperatures to that level, that we'll be able to tolerate the harm that's been done to the many human and biological systems that will be affected. That in itself is a point of great argument and there are uh, Sorry to say, fewer and fewer people who believe that we can hold it at a two degree level, but that's kind of a flag post or, or a line in the sand that we're trying to meet and that people will be, the negotiators in Paris will be trying to meet next December. We had a symposium last year on agriculture in the Midwest as affected by global warming. And among the things we found out was that, for example, Illinois, which is one of the most uh, productive agricultural places in the world, will have a climate about 40 years from now like that of northern Georgia. And that's with moderate climate change. So we simply don't know whether our crops, our corn, our soybeans and all, can be grown as well, and certainly can't be grown in all of the same places where they're grown productively now. We're facing real problems.